On this episode of Living the Dream, Captain Jimmy and Louisa travel to Costa Rica, and from start to finish, the action is non-stop. Got him. Oh, gosh. Wow. Woo! Ow! He goes. That is a stud, Sierra Mackerel. Oh, man, he ate that thing right beside the boat. Did you see that? That was insane. Nice Woo! job, Louisa. All right. This is Living the Dream with Captain Jimmy Nelson. Presented by Salt Life. Live salty. Ah! Ooh, good fish. And that's what she was fighting all that yeah. time. Man, what a fish. Wow. Doesn't get any better than Baja. We flew from Florida to San Jose, Costa Rica, and once in San Jose, we got on a smaller plane and flew to the Osa Peninsula. The flight from San Jose to the Osa Peninsula is beautiful. You're flying over mountains and right down the coastline, so you're seeing the ocean. The flight doesn't take that long. It's less than an hour. It's a very easy flight, and uh, that's one of the reasons that so many people like Crocodile Bay in Costa Rica, because it is a very convenient place to go to, and it's very upscale for the Costa Rica area. Arriving at the resort and unloading our bags, Diego had a little surprise for us. He found a Colombian boa when he was crossing the road, so he put it in a bag, and he actually had a group that he needed to take out, so he gave me the snake to let me release it. All right, guys, so we just got off the plane here at Crocodile Bay Resort. We haven't even checked into our rooms yet, and there was a boa crossing the road, and the guy didn't want it to get ran over, so Diego grabbed it and uh, he had to run into a meeting, but I'm just out here to release it. And it's a wild boa, and it was just sitting in the back of a truck that was bumping and going down a rocky road, so hopefully he's not too stirred up. Just wanna let him out of here nice and easy. Oh, he's gonna make me go in after him, I think. Where do you guys see this thing? I'm real calm with him. He'll probably be calm with me, even though he's wild. Let me just see if I'm not threatening him too far away from the head, but we're just gonna release them. Check that out. Look at the size of that boa. I believe it's a Colombian boa. I'm not 100% sure. Columbia red tail boas definitely have a red tail. But check that thing out. Beautiful snake. I'll try to pick them up for you one more time. Just don't want them to freak out on me. Wow. That's cool. That's an awesome way to start a trip out here in Costa Rica freak him out too much or force him to bite or her, whatever it is. We're gonna go ahead and let it go. If it wants to let go. In general, boas and pythons are not real aggressive snakes and uh, he wasn't really interested in me. He was just interested in getting back home. Pretty awesome. You don't see that every day. After an unexpected start to their Costa Rican adventure, Jimmy and Louisa settle in at the Crocodile Bay Resort. And the next day, they head out along the beautiful shoreline for some inshore fishing. I'm trying to jig something up with a Palomar jig, but the fish really aren't cooperating too well right now. I think they want the live bait up top. Thing is, is I can't let the jig get too high in the water column uh, just because there's so many mackerel around and it's easy to get cut off. After a short stint at jigging, Jimmy decides to switch to live bait and go after some mackerel, which tend to sit higher up in the water column. 
we're uh, rigging up some thread fins, and we're gonna try to get some mackerel, because this is an area where there's some mackerel, and they make great ceviche. So hopefully they'll cooperate this morning. Just flipped that last one out there, and almost as soon as it hit the water, a mackerel came up and cut the bait in half. Didn't land that one, so hopefully the next one will uh, stay buttoned up a little better. There it is, it's hit, it just ate it, just ate it, right in front of us. Oh man, he ate that thing right beside the boat. Did you see that? That was insane. Uh, this thing was six feet from the boat, and that mackerel just came up and crushed it right underneath the water. Gosh, that's exciting right there. When you can see a fish hit like that, it's, it's the best part of fishing. It's so much better than just having one come up and randomly pick up the bait and you're not seeing it happen. I mean, it just came over that whole bait head first. And here's the mackerel right here. Wow. I get pumped every time I see a fish eat. It's just the, the coolest thing. So much better than just a rod bending over. Wow. OK, well, he's hooked in the side of the head. He might come off. Let's see. Nope, he made it. OK, look at that. He came up and gobbled down that whole bait. But uh, the hook somehow missed his mouth. And there he is. You see that wire that's on there? That's 50. That's the 58-pound AFW toothproof wire. And as you can see, they have some pretty sharp teeth. And that's why we're using that wire, and it's why I'm keeping them away from my hands. And I think I'm going to go ahead and let this one go. Beautiful. There's going to be plenty around, so if we want to keep one for ceviche later, we can do that if one dies. But that one was in good shape. We'll be back for more Live in the Dream right after the break. Live in the Dream with Captain Jimmy Nelson is made possible by Salt Life. Live salty. C&H Lures. Be a winner with C&H Lures. Sea Deck. Your boat deserves Sea Deck. And by American Fishing Wire. Before the break, Jimmy and Louisa landed in Costa Rica, fresh off their flight to an unusual encounter. Upon arriving at the Crocodile Bay Resort, a guide gave them the opportunity to release a wild boa he had found in the middle of the road. After a few photo ops, they released the snake. And the next day, they headed inshore to fish for mackerel. And it wasn't long before Jimmy was hooked up. There it is, it's hit, it just ate it, just ate it, right in front of us. Oh man, he ate that bait right beside the boat! And here's the mackerel right here. Wow, okay, well he's hooked on the side of the head. He might come off, let's see. Nope, he made it. And there he is, beautiful. Shortly after I released my mackerel, Louisa hooked up. Fish on. Woo! Nice job, Louisa. All right. Digging down. Woohoo! The stinger egg. Yep. It did exactly what we wanted it to do. Exactly. And my favorite stinger rigs are these right here that have the uh, J hook in the front, the treble hook in the back, because you see if that J hook gets in the right spot, right where it's hooked there, it's going to stay. I got the CNH Lures Kingfish Pro Rig here, and uh, what it is, it's basically just AFW toothproof wire and a stinger rig with a little J hook and a treble hook. And uh, I'm able to get these pre rig things put on real quick instead of twisting up the hook and the wire because we're losing a bunch of them. There's so many mackerel here that they're not just hitting the bait, but they're hitting above the bait. And I just got cut off on my uh, fluorocarbon one hit so high. So what I'm tying here is just a regular uni knot, just uh, bringing my fluorocarbon into my uh, hard wire, the toothproof wire. And you see that uni knot will slide straight down. It's a little uh, two-aught J-hook and a treble hook that trails behind it. And these are pre-made by CNH lures. So I'm out here twisting up wire as fast as I can, but when I'm you know, in the process of twisting it up, we can still keep Louise in the water with some of these pre-rigged lines and keep me in the water with them so we can switch back and forth. These are a day saver when you're in a hurry. There he goes. <laughs> Why did 
on the surface. All right. Another macro coming up. Woohoo! Taking drag. It's a good workout, Jimmy. Yeah. You get it the is. Sierra macro. It's a nice warm up for the rooster fish. Oh, yeah. Another yeah. good one. Oh, he's foul hooked. I thought he was foul hooked the way he was fighting. Yeah, that's why I like those stinger rigs right there, guys. You see the way this thing's coming in in circles? All that's in them is that treble hook right there. It's a skin hook. This is barely, barely hooked. You have too much drag and that'll pull right out. Look at that. And that's exactly the reason for the stinger rig right there because of that hook that was in his mouth right there shakes out. That second hook's still gonna be in him somewhere. And on a tournament winning fish, you're gonna want something like that because you're gonna want that fish to stay hooked up. And that stuff will hold on big kings, man. I've pulled in, you know, 40, 50 pound kings, skin hook, not uncommon at all. Now we just gotta get this hook out without him kicking his head back at me. He's gonna bring feel a little, straight back. a little something there. We, there. Go. we got right. it out. I'm just gonna send him. Go for it. Good there job. There he goes. Louisa, you're killing it? Yeah. All right, we'll just use that same rig again. Let's do it. Sierra mackerel don't fight as good as a rooster fish or a big snapper or anything, but they do peel out the drag pretty quick, so it is a fun fish to fight. Hopefully the big roosters or big snapper. It's right here, Jimmy. Wow, big one. Ow, here he goes. Wow, that's the biggest one yet. That's a huge one. Is I'm it? gonna circle him again. Alright. Whoa. Okay, okay. That's, that's way bigger than the that other. That is a stud Sierra mackerel. Check it out! Goodness gracious, wow. Louisa. <laughs> that was fun. Whoa, wonder why he was pulling so hard. <laughs> we got that on the broken wire. That was when we had to clip the trailer hook off of it. Now he's got the other hook down deep. Looks like it's time to go rooster fishing. I think it's a great idea. We caught a bunch of these guys already. Yeah. I'm ready for some rooster fish. Head into the rocks and do it. Let's do it. All right. We'll be back for more Live in the Dream right after the break. Live in the Dream with Captain Jimmy Nelson is made possible by C&H Lures. Be a winner with C&H Lures. Plantation on Crystal River, the place to stay and play along Florida's nature coast. And by Salt Life. Live salty. Jimmy and Louisa are at the Crocodile Bay Resort in Costa Rica fishing inshore for mackerel and other reef fish. They headed out, all the while taking in the beautiful Costa Rican shoreline. And when the anchor fell, the fish were on nonstop. Nice job, Louisa. All right. And here's the mackerel right here. And there he is, beautiful. Another macro coming up. Woohoo! Taking drag. Look at that. Louisa, you're killing it. Woohoo! Okay, this is a bigger fish. All right, guys, this is super exciting. It's been non stop action so far. All right. Whoa, okay, okay. That, that's way bigger. Than the that other. is a stud Sierra mackerel. 
Check it out! After catching more than enough Sierra mackerel, we packed everything up and headed across the bay to try to catch something a little bit bigger. It's a much bigger fish than I think I missed the last few times. Finally got one that was big enough to get this hook down. Oh my gosh. And I only have a 40 pound high sea fluorocarbon leader on here, so it's a lighter leader. Wasn't expecting such a big fish. We saw some mullet snapper on the surface, but we're only a few pounds. And this is a monster. Gosh. Whoo. Something silver right there. I don't know exactly. Oh, it's a blue-tailed blue trevally. The bluefin trevally. I think you left a line in the water or something. All over mine. Whoa. They got another line on him that's actually not even one of ours. Maybe careful on his tail because it is sharp. Look at this. It's a completely different line. It's not even one of ours. I thought it was one of ours at first. It's just a broken off line. Well, at least we got that out of the water. All right, see that hook just fell out. It's a bluefin trevally, and you can see where it got that name from. It's from those pretty blue fins it has. This is one of the prettiest jacks you'll see out there. Just a gorgeous fish. So many cool colors on them. And if you notice, I'm not grabbing that tail at all. I'm just balancing him there because this tail, again, like I said on the last one we caught the other day, was very sharp. So you don't want to get your hand on that or a jack or ball or any of the fish that are like this because they will cut you up. And this fish is super strong. That's why it was giving me such a hard time. This is in the jack family. Things will fight all day long. All right, another species added to the list there. Nice bluefin trevally. Bluefin trevally are such a beautiful fish. I mean, they have such bright and brilliant blues and purples, and they have black spots all over them and silver, and it just kind of all comes together, and it's just a really neat looking fish because we don't have anything like that where we live in Florida. Whoa, look at that. I didn't even have to shake him. As soon as he touched that water, he was gone. He wasn't sticking around for anything else. He had enough of that being pulled around by his lips. Wow. It's been a good day so far. We'll be back for more Live in the Dream right after the break. Before the break, Jimmy and Louisa relocated, and right away, Jimmy hooked into a nice bluefin trevally. Got him. Oh, gosh. Wow. I finally got one that was big enough to get this hook down. The bluefin trevally, and you can see where it got that name from. It's from those pretty blue fins it has. This is one of the prettiest jacks you'll see out there. Just a gorgeous fish. So many cool colors on it. And then I hooked into another fish. All right, we got another one going. I'm not sure what this one is. We're trying for roosters right now, but we've got a lot of other fish besides rooster fish. We got some uh, bluefin trevallies, a bunch of mackerel, trigger fish, a whole bunch of different things, but not the rooster fish we were after. Here we go, it's a snapper. It's a yellowtail snapper. It was really nice catching that big Pacific yellowtail snapper. That's actually a pretty good sized snapper for that species. Yeah, and that is a big yellowtail snapper right there. Look at the fangs on that one. Wow, 
<laughs> what a fish. These don't get real big. They're similar to a mangrove snapper. As you can tell they start off really red and then come down to that yellow tail. And that's what they call them, a Pacific yellow tail. It's a lot different than our yellow tails in Florida. They're still just as tasty, but we've been letting all of these snapper go because there's been plenty of dolphin coming in over at the resort, so there's no need to keep these little snapper. We just let them go and uh, catch them next time we're out here. In my opinion, out of everything we did the entire day, the coolest thing was when we got back to the dock and there were all those snapper around the dock. There were some barred snapper and some small cuberas and a bunch of Colorado snapper. There were even some rooster fish that we saw cutting through there. But we took one of the live baits, I flipped it out there, and right away hooked into one of those Colorado snapper. There he goes. <laughs> That's tough. Woo! Colorado snapper. Check that out. That was the perfect way to wrap up the day after an excellent day of inshore fishing to get back to the dock and catch another beautiful snapper right there at the dock. I mean, it doesn't get any better than that. Crocodile Bay Resort is definitely an awesome place to go if you're into great fishing. It's a great way to end the day. Fish all day from beginning to end. There you go. For more fishing and diving action, follow Captain Jimmy on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Twitter, and TikTok at Captain Jimmy Nelson. Live in the Dream was brought to you by Salt Life. Live salty.